glad you could join us today on Star. Welcome to the program. I'm Ayola Kasim. With world's population nearing 7.7 .7 billion and global prosperity and the desire for more resource-intensive foods rising steeply too, it's clear that farming needs to become more productive. The fact is the planet is growing more food than ever before. And yet millions of people continue to starve worthwhile. People are hungry everywhere. But increasingly, one of the front lines in the war against hunger is here in the cities. As urban populations grow, more people find themselves in food deserts, areas with limited access to sources of healthy and affordable food. New technologies are changing the equation, allowing people to grow food in places where it was previously difficult or impossible, and in quantities aching to traditional farms. Today on Earth File, we find out how. Do stay with us. I'm here to buy my vegetables and herbs, fresh, organic, straight from Lekki Farm, <laughs> farm in the city. Yes, right at the heart of Lekki Phase 1 in Lagos is a new urban farm. The brainchild of Yomi Williams, who along with his partners started the Gartner Callaway Global Company, which focuses on sustainable development in Africa. The Sustainability City Farm occupies an approximately 13 square foot space in Lekki. Here, a wide variety of vegetables and herbs like lettuces, kale, basil, dill, peppermint among others are grown. For those who visit the farm, the initiative is a great one. We have vegetation everywhere, lying fallow, uh, at best you see structures and buildings going up but what do we need we need food we need good healthy food and the thought that it's right in my back doorstep fresh vegetables oh, I, I was really really excited really i was very very excited and happy to find someone bring it into uh, lekki so near to uh, the people who would use it who would want it the farm was set up to address sustainable farm practices in Nigeria, bearing in mind population growth and dwindling resources. Hydroponics basically means growing without soil. Now, I know there's a misconception generally in Nigeria what hydroponics is. Most people automatically believe that hydroponics means you don't use any soil. But they forget that there are two types or three types of hydroponics. You have your aeroponics, which is growing without soil, using where you miss the roots. Then you have your NFT gutter channels, which involves with nutrient solution, just recirculating around the NFT channels. Then you have your agroponics, which is more of what we do at Gartner Callaway, which involves using hydroponic soil mediums. So rather than using like topsoil, we use something called cococoa, which is made, which is organic sterile medium made from the back of coconut skin which is natural and organic. So we use cococoa for various reasons. One, it's sterile. It has good water, nutrient holding qualities, and good aeration qualities, which are two major factors that plants need to grow properly and to yield, give you the yields that you actually need. Our system is really called a high-density vertical system. Now, we chose this system because of all the commercial systems globally, this is the only outdoor recirculatory hydroponic system. And it's perfectly suited to the Africa model and Africa story in terms of our climate and how to adjust the system to our climate. As you can see around the farm, everything's outdoors and we only have like a special protective covering that allows us to grow a lot of crops and versatility of the crops as well. So we chose that also because of the density According to a 2015 study by the University of Sheffield's Grand Term Center, the planet has lost a third of its arable land due to pollution and erosion in the past 40 years. The combined effects of over-cultivation and heavy fertilizer use have depleted soil at a rate that far outpaces the Earth's natural ability to recover. Climate change and extreme weather events have accelerated erosion exacerbating the situation. The dramatic loss of fertile land comes at a time when the demand for food is rising. By 2050, food production will need to increase by 50% to feed the world's projected population of 9 billion. 
water shortages posed further threats to food security. The availability of fresh water has plummeted along with the decline in soil, shrinking by nearly two-thirds over the past four decades, especially in Africa. Hydroponics has become far more popular in recent years as technology has become even more precise, allowing large amounts of greens and fresh produce to be produced in urban environments with both minimal space and far smaller amounts of water than on a traditional farm. For example, in a traditional farm, it can take as many as 34 gallons to produce a head of lettuce. But this farm takes a lot less. Well, the whole point is growing more using less. So using less land, less space, less water, less nutrients, which, is all, which all has to do with sustainable farming. So when you look at it in a bigger way, we're contributing to development of the Millennium Goals and things like that. So we're trying to advocate for better sustainable farming, using less of these inputs based on climate change and a lot of other factors. For example, if you look at the northern region of Nigeria at the moment, with the encroachment of the Sahel towards Nigeria, what you're finding is huge issues with desertification. So people can't grow. But with this kind of technology and with good drip irrigation technology, you can grow crops anywhere. You can grow on a rooftop, you can grow in a desert, you can grow in the middle of a city. It allows us to be flexible and grow things closer to our consumer, giving our consumers better quality fresh produce, which is what they actually want because it keeps them healthy and it prolongs their lives. Gartner Calloway is combining agriculture and technology so that the process of growing food is more seamlessly integrated into people's lives. Its hydroponic system is also seen as a way to limit travel time for food and carbon footprint of preserving and transporting organic materials. So for now, we do not need to preserve our produce because most of what we grow between Lekia and VI alone, between the restaurants and the families, it's all consumed. And then to ensure that we don't run out of supply to our customers, what we've done is we've sequenced our, our produce. So we get to harvest every week and it's all fresh. How, how do we do that? You know, from the seed from the seedling we plant we seed some in the nursery and then the first batch comes out and then they are growing. So after a week, or sorry, after like maybe say three weeks, because it takes about five to six weeks for, for the produce to be ready through this um, growing model. And then so after three weeks of the other, the second set being inside, we get to transplant them into the, into the towers outside. So by the time we're harvesting the very first batch, the second batch is, is ready. So that way we are able to keep our, our, supply, our supply chain alive. Some produce has been on trucks for weeks before it reaches the table, having lost, by some estimates, 45% of its nutritional value along the way. Produce is bred to survive that long journey with its aesthetics, but not necessarily its flavor intact. Now we have different models we're running. Our first model, which we started with, is our city farm model. Now the whole idea of the city farm model is real farm to table. So it's for growers to actually experience the growing process along with us. And it's full transparency for them to actually see how the food, uh, what they're eating is grown. And um, for them to actually come and we harvest it fresh at the farm. Hence the reason why our slogan, Find Your Farm in the City, and why we're setting up farms across Lagos. It's to actually boost that uh, direct relationship with our consumers. Also understanding what they want, because when customers come to the farm, we walk around with them, what do you like? Um, what don't you like? We take an average of what their needs are. So based on that, we're growing for them. Everything we do, it's really to make our customers happy. It's really all about the customer. Whether it's an individual, a corporate institution, or whatever the case may be, it's always all about the customer. Gartner Callaway plans to start farms across major areas in Lagos, next to distribution centers. To minimize the time its food spends in transit, it wants produce to go from harvest to table in hours rather than days. If it can do that, the company will be able to grow and sell a wide variety of rare breeds, 
which are more tender and flavorful than what are available at the supermarket, but less resilient to long journeys. We talk about subsistence farmers all the time, but a lot of these guys grow the product, and probably about 50, 40, 50 percent of what they grow just goes to waste, simply because they cannot get their product to the end user. So this is a problem. When you think about the amount of waste that goes on in Nigeria, this is what um, Gartner Callaway trading was for, to create a platform that reduces waste, increases efficiency, and as we always talk about, sustainability.